So it's Saturday afternoon. Anna is off um, helping to interview the new applicants, uh, the incoming people on her program. I've been doing math for a couple hours and I realized my uh, harmonograph came in today, so I'm gonna open it. Very exciting. I honestly didn't think about how big it might be. Um, I imagine it's at least 14 inches square. I don't know if it's exactly square, but I hate to have to trim it down so that it doesn't take up an entire wall, but we'll see, I guess. All right, let's make sure this is not wet. I think we're good. Oh, wow. Bo is very excited over here. He is also waiting with faded breath. All right. So he's got it wrapped on both sides. Very nice. I'm, I'm glad he put that effort into it. That's very nice of him. All right, here we go. And there it is. It's one thing to see it online and on his Instagram, but to look at the the wicked detail and intricacy of this thing is just on another level, to be honest. Look at that. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. This might be my favorite piece of art that we've bought. I mean, granted, we've only bought three, but I just love that. Let me get some close-ups here for you. That is just, I don't know how close it's gonna be able to focus, but obviously it's much darker where there's a lot more overlap here, but that is just, wow. Oh, what? Wait a second. There's two in here. I don't remember... I don't remember ordering two. I'll have to go back and check, because he either accidentally sent... Well, let's look at the order. He included that as well. Yeah, it says... Drawings from Drawing Machine, number 759, $40. Shipping and handling, etc. Wow, hand signed. What a great guy. And he sent me two. Now, I was wondering, for a second, I was like, I thought it was orange and blue. And this is the one I remember ordering, just as beautiful, of course. But he sent me multiple, also, again, a sheet in between them. A lot of consideration, I love it. And this one. So I'm gonna go email him <laughs> and see what happened. Because it's very, very clearly advertised on his website as being like 40 bucks a piece. And he only charged me $40, so he either was feeling really nice for some strange reason, or he accidentally sent me two. And I would hate to take free stuff, so what I would probably do is send back the one that I did not order. Uh, but we'll see. Very interesting. I'm really excited about it. Um, I think I will trim the white space down, just because there's so much of it. Um, I'll probably take off, you know, an inch and a half, so I can have plenty of, you know, leave plenty of white space. But yeah, super cool. So fast forward a couple hours and the guy emails me back and he said, yeah, the, uh, the other drawing was just a gift, um, you know, because I appreciate your business. I was like, wow, that's really nice. Uh, thanks a bunch. But honestly, I don't really want it. I'm happy with just the one. Uh, so what I'll probably do is give this other one to somebody. Um, maybe include it in the giveaway I was talking about on our 100th video, which should be a couple after this. This is like 96 or 97, so cool. So, went to the Hobby Lobby to get a frame, because that's basically the, the cheapest frames in town. And the closest I could get was 12 and a half square. I, I figured before I left that the minimum, where'd it go? Here it is. The minimum this could be was 12 square. So 12 and a half will give us a little white room on each side. Um, and, and luckily it is very nearly spherical, as you can see. So it won't be too difficult to find a pretty close midpoint and this, so that I can get these sides even. Uh, they won't be perfectly even. One, the top and the bottom will be a little thicker than the sides or vice versa, but that's all right as long as this is centered within the frame. Because if it's off even by like probably an eighth of an inch, you'd notice and it would be infuriating. And voila. Not bad, right? About as center as you could get it. I'm pretty happy with it. Nice. So as you can see, we're in full test prep mode 
and it just goes on and on and on. But luckily, we got Drinking Bird to send his blessings. It's luckily been a really productive day. Ordered my glasses, went and got my eyes examined so I could have a prescription to order my glasses. I dealt with some immunization stuff so that I can register for classes at USF. Luckily that didn't require any new immunizations or tests done or anything like that. I just had to basically transcribe data from the old immunization form that I submitted for Auburn onto USF's version. And now I have to submit it. <sighs> it's 8.51 and I'm just now getting the opportunity to do work. And up until this semester really, I've always been a firm believer in in time management and, you know, proper time management, conquering all. Which is to say that I've always thought that as long as you manage your time properly, you can treat school like a day job, and at five o'clock you can do your own stuff, pleasurable stuff, relax, whatever. But I'm finding that at least for me, I mean, I know it varies person to person, obviously, but at least for me, I don't think that's the case anymore. I'm finding that it's just requiring more and more of my time to, to really absorb stuff well and retain it and understand it and do homework and, and everything else and it's just it's just eating up my time and it's all I'm thinking about this semester if it doesn't get the best of me it'll it'll come like this close and I guess sometimes the the only way to do it is just throw yourself at it and let it consume you right so that's what I'm about to do to the wee hours of the night so Wish me luck. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.